Today I'm going to simulate a scenario which I was working on on the past few days. During this project I came across different methods and techniques which are used for the sole purpose of net traversal. For this simulated scenario I use GNS3 to simulate the connection between two clients A and B and the rendezvous server, the one over here. For the simulated the simulation of a net traversal I'm going to make use of the technique known as UDP hole punching. As you can clearly see from the diagram, each of the clients is connected to a router, which is simulating an AT, which in my case I used PAT, port address translation. So, for the hole punching technique, I make, I make use of three different scripts. The first script is the server script. This script will combine the static IP address and port number on which the server is going to be listening for incoming traffic. The server will keep listening until two incoming messages, one from client A and one from client B, are each carrying the IP address and port number of the client it came from. Then the server will swap the socket binding of each client and send them back. In the client script, the first step is to send its socket details containing its IP address and port number to the rendezvous server. When this script receives this traffic from the ser server, the data is saved into a variable so it can be used to, to, as a destination address when sending traf traffic towards the other clients. So, let's try and run the scenario. First, we have to, go, we have to play the server script. So, as you can see here, the server is on listening mode and is ready for incoming traffic from the other cl clients. Then, all we need to do is go on client B and run the script as well. Back on the, on the server script, we can see that the rendezvous server has received the first set of socket bindings and saved into an array. Now let's run the script on, on client A. Run the script. And back to the server script. Once again, we can see the server has both of the socket bindings of the client A and client B, and then proceeds to swapping them. Therefore, now client will B will be sending ten different messages. I mean, to client A. So as you can see from here, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. From client A, we can see that. The messages from client B had been sending are being received successfully. By this, we come to conclude that UDP hole punching was success successful. By this method, the connection will close upon completion of the transfer of messages, and therefore, possible improvements may be required to leave the connection open. But the most important thing is that we succeeded in our attempt to hole punch the, the net. Thank you.